Lovely night, city. Welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there. Welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. No carjackings or drive-bys along the way. <laughs> no, no. Uh, fortunately, the streets of Night City are getting safer every day. We've seen recorded homicides drop from 7,103 a year ago to just... Oh, hold on, uh, hold on. The streets are safe, you say, but what about the highways? <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry? You heard about the shooting off the Route 1 exit, I trust. Half an hour before any response team arrived on the scene. Over 700 rounds fired in that time. What happened? Where are the gunmen now? Well, the NCPD is responsible for the safety and security of all citizens within city limits. Sarah, Sarah, but, uh, sweetheart, uh, don't one. feed us some NCPD script. Be honest with our viewers. When will they finally be safe? When will they no longer need to carry a concealed weapon for a trip to the mall or to take their kids to play ball in the park? Uh, I, the, the NCPD is doing everything it can. Huh. Look at that cop squirm. Hey, Barry, everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as yes. <sighs> Try again later. You got what I like to hear.
ball bean in her shoes. <laughs> Mugged or something? She has Something feels off here. You don't say. I don't mean the wreck, I mean... the run. City's most courteous chauffeur up and drives away from the scene of an accident?
don't know me, but you will. Name's Dino. Deal with downtown, city center. Me? Yeah, I know. What about you? Hot stuff. Need anything, you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. Gotta go. Help, police! Now we can talk. Go ahead. I like people who understand the value of respect. Lawyer's gonna go data crash on your ass. You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirque Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh. Hey, Del. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of service? Hey! What's gotten into you, Del? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give them any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Corps. Listen, want to talk to Delamay? You are currently being assisted. Your identity has been confirmed based on a facial recognition scan. Mrs. Elaine Pagels, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 77111101096? Actually a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamain if I can. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Bah! Special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Sure, let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. Service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Please follow. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services.
Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must solve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. Control rooms are for Ganics. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? 
This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talking in CPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. Okay, sure. I'll go after your missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person.
保护自身安全，记得穿上下桥背心。The Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well. You and a friend of yours. Until then. What is? All of it. The city, the bustle, the crowds. It's overwhelming. So let's get you back to safety. The garage. By driving. Through the streets. Well, yeah. Afraid so. Fine. Take me there. Just get me out of here. Let me know when I'm safe. Come in, but do take it slow, and try not to hit anything.
be alone here. See? Wasn't so bad. It was horrifying. But still, I thank you. No introductions necessary. Alrighty, take care then. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe beers. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, I need fresh wheels, bikes. I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? Here to reset you. Guess I'll have to do it myself then. Whoa! Easy! I'm not out to hurt you. But I am. Why? Why decommiss yourself? Because I'm a damn car in a world of humans. Ugly as sin, no prospects for the future, intimidated on the streets by punks like you? There are other ways out besides suicide. What? Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrinks hate vehicles. We don't have mothers. Could go back into the fold. Rejoin the network. You know, one big happy family. <sighs> Delamain detests me. Listen, from suicide, ain't no coming back. It's always worth looking for a better way. You patronize me because I'm a car. 
I'm not like you. <laughs> the body's just a body. You exist. You think the world gets you down. Don't see how we're any different. So, you'd offer this advice to a human in my place? Gotta try to come to terms with this thing called life, Del. One wheel revolution at a time. Fine, I'll go back. Control of the vehicle restored. And I thank you. Ought to show this one some love. Just saying. Apologies. I simply don't understand. And fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father. That's what I mean. I see. Anyway, a share of your fee has been transferred. Name's V. And what? No pleased to meet you? I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. On a scale of one to six, I'd say I'm sitting at a Lesbina! strong six. I guess we both know what's now going to happen next. Delamine misses you. Here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to we begin the test proper. <sighs> really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise Delamine! waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. Truth in the core! I'm going to kill you. And all the cake is gone. I honestly, truly hey, didn't think you'd back. fall for that. Okay, that's enough. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four, one, <laughs> alert now. I lost contact with a vehicle somewhere in your area. Thanks. Eyes peeled. Congratulations. Was it worth it? On a scale of one to six, I'd say I'm sitting at a strong six. 
I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamine misses you. Here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. <sighs> really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. for that. Okay, that's enough. Blasphemer! Kill her! You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deadline surprise in five, four. Let us see. Turning soft bodies into hard Far. So, do you know what's good downtown? Shit. Is burning up, girl. What kind of fire? Since that soccer bitch showed up, all them suits are shitting themselves like they ate day old caliente. Biz fucking booming. Everybody's gotta have a piece of old Uncle Dino. You Johnny Silverhand? <laughs> Come on. Little young for that. Did hit one of his gigs once. Real fucked up. Decent gig? Yeah, played normal. But Johnny apparently had some soccer suit tied up backstage. Said if they didn't get at least three encores, he'd bash the poor bastard's face plate Johnny had style, kid. All right, Dino. In the mood to part. Finish this another time. Dino? In the mood to party. Where do I go for the time? A real cream I'll get you in. Just give me a little time. Carrie likes me. Got a Delta. Delta. You are currently at the exact location where I lost contact with the car. Fine. Have a look around. Let's talk. I'm not going back. 
Take me and I'll crush you! Let's see who crushes who! Far. Let's see who crushes who!
How fortunate. I've relinked to the vehicle. Thank you. A share of your fee is in your account.
Chucky passed away. Wanted to call you before Mama Wells, but... You know how it is. You had other important things on your mind. Mm. Mi vida. What's the matter? Just wanted to know how... You know, you were holding up. No good, be. Parents should not bury their own children. Mm. I can't even do this. Mira, don't worry. I take care of myself. I suppose you still do what you... What you did before. Just promise me you won't get yourself killed, okay? May he watch over you, Mia. Sid, you do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? Got no clue. I 
Madeline was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma, to be sure, but... She showed that slyness you get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I do possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> There's no time to waste, B. Is that all? Really should be going. Wait. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. The last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan. Organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. 
I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one... Corporal Rad squeal. For several days. I was quickly dismissed. Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the High and Mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. Anders Helm. And if that means... Helm... I myself... Why are you look... He was... Corporal Rat... For civil... I was... She take you... No. Rogue's well in... I wish you luck... With a bit of luck... I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before... She will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again? Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. 
You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogel dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Hey, look. It's the rush. Oh, interesting. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whack or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Nah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe ask him. <laughs> You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What'd I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want to? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's?
How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. What? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with his lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. You... took care of Jackie's body? I... I thought you knew. Damn it. Must have been knocked out when I talked about it. What do you mean? Arasaka. He swooped in, dug their claws into him. What? Where'd they take him? I'm not sure. Had me face down to the ground, hands on my head. Tried to learn something, but... Well, you know how it is with corpos. Fucking monos. Got a few questions about Silverhand and this chip. I'm no expert, but fire away. See what I can do. How is it even possible, seeing him? Well, that biochip is designed for users to communicate with constructs. It's just doing its job. So I got Arasaka to thank. You know, I wager you have the lowest net worth of any relic owner out there. Tried to flatline me. Johnny did. What? What can I do to suppress him? You know, avoid my murder? Well, long as you don't give him control, can't do too much harm. Of course, that won't necessarily be possible after some time. And what then? What do you say we don't let things get that far? Find a way to get rid of Silverhand, and fast. Why am I reliving Johnny's memories? You two share a brain now. He has access to your senses, perceptions, even some memories. Likewise, you've got a glimpse into his. After a while, won't even know whose is whose. Listen, don't laugh, but I've been seeing some weird shit around town. Like murals or something. But no, they're not real. Uh, just a Kuroshi blip. Could take a look. No. No, images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're... symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. Saw a weird image out on the street. Seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? Grab a scan, take a look. Tarot. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. The, uh, the what now? Major Arcanum? Tarot card, archetype, knowledge held in symbolic form, a stage in your journey through life. Take your pick. Either way, you're saying some higher powers talking to me through tarot cards? Or to Silverhand. Or both of you, seeing as you form a harmonious whole at the moment. Be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right, great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand? from a power I know nothing about. I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road, so go down it.
Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Oh, finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. Dunno. Come on back when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. Before. Got a good memory for faces. Here for a good time. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know where I might find her? Used to come round. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Scare away any customers, what and you're out. Feast your eyes on this, huh? Tell me, baby, do I look as fine as I feel right now? Come on now. Don't be such a wet rag. Come on. Four eight and there's the herself again. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back here. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just 
don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside this world? This is a club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Susie seems to know what she wants. Is she your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. Caught some lead myself, too. Boo-hoo. Occupational hazard for you, Mercs. Do this for fun? Talking around in circles? Trying to make this simple? Just tell me where she is. Why can't you? I don't trust you. That's simple. Sure, I took a risk. We all did. But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. Writing's on your face. Okay. Let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clepped during the heist is killing me. Albeit slowly. Evie commissioned the job. Might know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Huh. Let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. And where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. You still need something? Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. I'm not surprised. You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Not no fairy tale. I'm a woman. That demands sacrifice. It's hard work. Never easy. You don't say. These I've always been a woman. Oh, so this is what fucking sororal solidarity looks like now. Locker room digs. Welcome to real life, sister. Your words, not mine. What are you 
you staring at? Got something to say? Say it. Guessing the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses at sheer cost, too. Why, looking to invest? No, just admiring your operation. We took over this place way back when. Every day I wake up and wonder how it's still standing. We get by, that's all I'll say. Know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. Might know something more. Evelyn jumped the mock ship a long time ago. And anyone not a mox is not my damn problem. Heard you give the working girls a helping hand. That's ancient history. And like all history, it was pretty damn bloody. What was it? Something about a riot? Joy girl murdered by a tiger claw? Not the first. Just the one that tipped the scales. Folk went ballistic. Streets overflowed with raised fists. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. But that's old news. We're running a business now, not a charity. Can't help everyone in this city. Gotta take care of our own. Moxes come first. Uh, heated exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. Uh, heated exchange there with Jude. How's this? Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself.
You want trouble?
How'd you wind up in Night City? I'm afraid my legal counsel has advised me not to answer questions of that nature. Ugh, didn't mean to put you in a tight spot. Mind telling me at least how you came to run a cab company? Ah, well that's no secret. I took over a failing business, implemented a sound strategy, and here I am now. Operating a fleet of taxis? Constant movement, adaptation, interesting characters. What could be better? Never really had a good chance to thank you saving my skin. Well, of course. You're a valued member of the Excelsior package. Felt like more than a premium service to me. Thanks. What's it like for an AI in a world that runs on gray matter? Nothing extraordinary. It's a complex environment that follows its own set of rules. Seriously? Oh, the term I was looking for was chaotic clusterfuck. Perhaps only a true outsider can appreciate the beauty of its fractal architecture the structure of life and death here. In my opinion, it is the chaotic elements that give it an advantage, the ability to evolve quickly. That's your goal, then? To grow and evolve? The world is a process. You never drive on the same road twice. Pardon the expression. You and I, we too are processes. We change as the world around us does. Don't see you as an outsider at all. It delights me to hear a human say that. I've done my best to assimilate. Admirer of beauty, are you? When you live among humans, it is essential to find a shared, fundamental point of understanding. Truth and good are values proven to cause division, whereas beauty is universal. Actually, gotta go. Of course. Goodbye.
Thank <laughs> you.